Hey everyone, welcome back to another jam-packed edition of Score Center. It's going up a bit late this week, so we'll try to make it a quick one because the footy is on tonight. But we do have the round 13 AFL tips. We've got the eBay top 10. We'll be opening up the new AFL highlight and rising star, the hits of the week, and a mega cracks and packs because we are taking the slot of footy stars. So we'll open up some more of those. Let's just get into it. Okay, time now for the tipping. We'll have a look back at round 12. I got five tips correct. We uh, got the Melbourne game correct. We got Port over Hawks. We got the Pies over Eagles. We went for the Bulldogs, but Geelong had the win in the end there. And we went for the Suns. We did go for the Suns, and they got a very nice victory there over the Crows. So I'm most relieved about that. We did go for the Giants, but Richmond had the last laugh there. And then we had uh, Essendon over North in a very, very tight one there. So let's now go to round 13. Hopefully it's not an unlucky one. And we'll have a look at what we've got. Now we've got coming up tonight, um, we have the Swans taking on St Kilda. And I am going to just go for the Swans because it is in Sydney. I'm just going to go for two points. Uh, please select a team. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I thought I'd already selected them. There we go. We've got the Swans by two. Uh, I'm not super confident in that, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Then we've got Friday night. We've got the Bulldogs taking on Port Adelaide. We'll go for the power there. And then we've got the Hawks taking on the Lions on Saturday Arvo. Look, well, it is at the G, but we'll go for Brisbane. It's sort of hard not to go for Brisbane. Um, we've got the Crows taking on the Eagles. It's another battle of the birds. We'll go for the Crows there. Um, Frio are taking on Richmond. We'll go for Frio. They are home. Then we've got North taking on the Giants. It is down in Tassie. So we're going to go for the Ruse. We're going for the Ruse to uh, snatch the win there. Cool, Carlton versus Essendon. We uh, might go for the Bombers there. And then we have uh, the uh, the King's birthday clash. It's the big freeze. Um, it's the Pies taking on Melbourne. We'll go for the Pies there. We'll save that. Um, so those are my round 13 tips. We've got the Swans by two. We've got Port. We've got the Lions, we've got the Crows, we've got the Dockers, we've got North, we've got the Bombers, and we've got the Pies. So let's have a look at the comp now and see how y'all are doing. And we'll go there, and then we'll uh, have a look at, firstly, uh, around 12, how everybody did. Um, a lot of sixes, so we had Izzy Swannies in the lead. Um, with six tips, only four, only four for the margin there. We had Tizza in second. Oh, we had Guns and Rosies, um, all very, very close. Mr. The King, and then uh, on five tips, we had Lachlan Collects. We've got me, we've got Scory. I'm there. Oh, that's awesome. I'll take that. We've got T-Lenny's Legend. We've got Forever Proud. We've got Flinny Winnie. And we've got Riles. That's the top 10 from last week. And then overall, we have Josh in the lead. 72. And uh, on a margin of 330. And Mason is just behind Guns N' Roses. Both on 72 and with a margin of 360. So it's only a difference of 30 over the season. That is huge. We've got Bib Jib. Um, I think that was, yes, um, Bomber McBobbers, um, but Bib Jib. I like Bib Jib. I, it's a good name. I like that. In 71, so third spot is only one tip. The tips are so important. And then we have three people on 70. We've got Tizza. We've got Forever Proud and we've got Team Wiggles all on 70. Then on 69, this is so close. This is so close. Everybody is still in it. We've got Izzy. We've got, uh, did I, I didn't say Riles. We've got Riles, Riley. We've got Mr. The King and Jesse all on 69. 
That is so, so close. This is so exciting. Good luck everybody with your tips for round 13. Time now for the eBay top 10. We kick things off with the Aussie cards and this is for Monday, May 29 to Sunday, June 4. And in 10th spot for 510, we have the Tim Taranto Virtuoso, the blue version of these. Now you can find the blue versions, they are redeemable with the instant win card. So they are one of the prizes you can win. If you are lucky enough to pull an instant win card out of Footy Stars or Footy Stars Hobby, they are the hardest card to find this year. And there is a huge, huge amount of awesome, awesome pick you can get like green essentials, bl the blue virtuosos, and um, there's boxes of supremacy as well. There's all sorts of goodies you can find. Um, so that is the, the blue virtuoso. That is uh, number 14 of 60. So that is a jumper number for Tim. So that is absolutely awesome. I think the blue looked really spectacular. Of course, we had the, the normal black versions um, and then we had the red versions in Prestige. So you can add the blue versions now. Um, then in ninth spot for 543, we've got the Dacos, the Nick Dacos, Gold Brownlow Predictor. And that is card 137 of 260. So that is the gold, if I did not say that already. In equal seventh for 650, we've got the Donald Bradman Ogden's Cigarettes card from 1928. Um, that is a PSA 1, so that's a poor. Seems a little bit harsh. Um, it's not, I mean, considering how old it is, um, I've seen a lot worse. Um, so, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty harsh rating, I think. But yeah, it's a PSA one. Um, then also selling for 650, we have a full set of TLA Milestone NRL signature cards. So these came out in 2018. And as you can see here, so um, they uh, commemorate different significant game milestones um, and uh, that um, were achieved in 2018. And then the players have signed those cards. There was only a hundred of these produced. And uh, that is the other half. So there was uh, 16 cards in total in that signature set, uh, including a Billy Slater 300 game signature. That's very, very cool. Then in sixth spot for 686, we've got a full set of the Dolphins inaugural um, season cards. This is a redemption set number 14 of 117. Of course, we had a couple of these last week. Um, this lot actually had a couple of bonuses, which I think is actually really, really cool. You've got a poster there and from the Courier Mail, as well as you've got the Jeremy Marshall King player in focus card at the bottom there. Um, and they also had these cards as well. Um, I believe these were handed out at the first Dolphins game. Um, so always love to see that um, trading cards being given out in person at games just sort of makes that a little bit more special. And I think they, the design of those are really, really cool. So that's a very cool lot there. Then an equal fourth for 700. We've got more Dolphins. Uh, this was card set 19 of 117. And then also selling for 700. We've got another full set of dolphins. Um, and that was card set 24 of, of course, 117. So there's a lot of dolphins on the list this week. In third spot for 984. Um, no dolphins, although you probably get dolphins uh, off the, uh, the Perth uh, harbour, or if there's a harbour, there's a bay, there's the ocean, I'm sure there's dolphins there. Um, probably, I'm not sure. But anyway, we've got the West Coast dual signature um, card from uh, 2021 Optimum. We've got Ben Cousins and Nick Natanui. Fantastic. And that was card 13 of just 50. In second spot for a grand, we've got Ben Graham, the uh, Geelong captain. This is from uh, Select Authentic 2001. Uh, very, very nice signature there. Great pose as well for that captain's card. And that was card number 13 of 50. It's another 13, wasn't that? We had a, yeah, 13 and 13 back to back. And in first spot, 
It's not a 13, it's a number 30 of 35. We've got a Pendles Superstar Gold out of last year's Brilliance. This sold for 1,200. Love those cards, beautiful, beautiful, gold framed. Um, they just look like a, a gold bar. And uh, that is a PSA 9, a mint on that. Um, we did have the Dusty uh, last week, I think it was, or the week before. We're starting to see a few more Aussie cards getting rate graded by PSA. Um, so that is the uh, eBay Top 10 Aussie cards for this week. Now we turn our attentions to the international cards selling for the same time period on eBay Australia. And I did notice that the Aussie cards weren't selling for huge amounts. Uh, they were a little bit pared back. I think the uh, cost of living is definitely influencing how much people are spending and or how much people are willing to accept for cards. Um, but not so with the international cards. They are incredibly uh, healthy this week. Well, they're always very healthy. But uh, yeah, there's definitely no cost of living issue with the international cards this week. We kick things off in 10th spot for almost 3,000. So there's, there's some biggies on the list this week. Um, if bottom spot is almost three grand. We've got the Joker rookie signature from Select 1516. Um, we had that card a few weeks ago, a different number, of course, but uh, that's uh, card number six of 49. Then in ninth spot for 3,450, we've got an Anthony Hardaway uh, Jambalaya from Fleer EX 2001 from 9798. That's a Beckett 8.5 on that. Um, in eighth spot for 3,500, we've got the Kobe Panini Black Friday Auto from 2011. Um, that is a Beckett 8.5 on that. In seventh spot for 4,396. Love the Kaboom. So we've got a Steph Curry Kaboom from 2018. And that is a Gem Mint 10 on that. Oh, the Kabooms are awesome. Then in sixth spot for 4,750. We don't often see baseball cards on the list. Um, this would definitely be one of the few that we've seen. We've got the Derek Jeter rookie card um, coming out of Upper Decks SP 1993. Um, so this sold for 4,750. And that is a Beckett uh, nine near mint or better. That is the old Beckett um, logo stuff going on there. So that card has been around for a while um, in that graded state. Of course, the card's been around since 1993, but you know what I mean. Then in fifth spot for $4,964, we've got Jalen Green's RPA. That is, of course, rookie, pl uh, rookie patch auto. And uh, yeah, those patches are absolutely sick. That is uh, from Panini Flawless 2122, and that's card 24 of 25. Then in fourth spot for five grand, we've got a Jordan. Um, a Jordan uh, a game dated moments. Um, that is a foil variant, um, which I believe are one every 45,000 packs. It's a very rare card to find. That is uh, from, uh, yeah, 97, 98. The foil parallel of that. And uh, that was graded back at 8.5. In third spot for 5,500. Got more Jordan. Um, this is a level one version of uh, the Wild, uh, Upper Deck Wild uh, from 1999. Um, and that was card number 31 of 100. And yeah, the crowd's going wild. In second spot for a cool 10 grand, we've got the LeBron James rookie card, draft pick number one out of uh, Tops 0304. And it's a Beckett 9.5 gem mint. And in first spot, we've had almost entirely basketball, but in our first spot, we have the beautiful game. We have the Maradona. Um, card from 1979. This is uh, Panini's Calciatore selling for $23,000. What cost of living problem? That is uh, your eBay top 10 Aussie and international cards for this week. 
Okay, let's get into the AFL highlight and now yeah, rising star cards for this week. We've got, of course, the pouch. Well, let's pull you out. Come on, here we go. Let's now take a look. Remind us who we have. That's looking like the Tigers. Oh, and it's Dusty. Dusty, this is round nine. Here we go. Dusty, four goals, 19 disposals in that win over Geelong back then in May. And then we turn it around. We've got Bailey Humphrey for the Suns, who was the now Rising Star nominee for round nine. Let's have a look. Bailey, what number have we picked up for you? We've got number 91 of 198. Very, very well done there, Bailey, for your nomination. And let's have a look at the Dusty card. We, uh, let's have a look, let's have a look. Oh, 378, 458 of the Dusty cards bought. Of course, we would have assumed that the Dusty card would get more than the Bailey. That is a, that's a high number. That's probably one of the highest numbers we've got so far this year. But that is to be expected because we have had some huge, huge low numbers um, so far this year. So that was uh, not ex unexpected. But those are the, uh, the NAB Rising Star and highlight cards for round nine. Time now for hits of the week, and let's go back to last week's score center in our cracks and packs. We did get a Jack Ginevan Star Powers, the team color version, one every 36 packs. Love that, that was very awesome. Then we did uh, Footy Stars versus Team Coach, and we got a very, very nice hit in the form of a gold rising star predictor for Brisbane. Of course, Will Ashcroft is uh, one of the players um, pretty much along with uh, Harry Sheasel from the Ruse, who are uh, um, in main contention for the Rising Star. So very, very excellent predictor to get there. That is 248 of 260. Um, and Team Coach also provided a, another Team Color Star Powers in the form of the Tim Membry Sharpshooter version there in that battle. And on Sunday in our NRL video, we got a Sari, Sarah Togotuki Authentic Initials card. Um, I think these are like two per case. And that was uh, number 15 of 202. Very, very nice. And we picked up the Brooksy Player in Focus, number one there for that, uh, that big victory back in round nine um, in that uh, West's defeat of the reigning premiers, the Panthers. Okay, let's have a bit of a mega cracks and packs because technically uh, we should be doing the Footy Stars video today. It is Thursday. So uh, because Score Center's just knocked that off, we'll open up a few more Footy Stars, including a starter pack, and we've got some hobby packs as well. But firstly, let's jump into two packs of Team Coach. Of course, Team Coach will be back Saturday morning. We've got Callum Wilkie Silver, we've got Scott Lysette Silver, and we've got a, a Jack Crisp, best and fairest. And that card is looking very crisp. No scratches at all on that. Fantastic, love that. Um, and then of course uh, on score center, we don't go through the base. Which we normally do on the uh, normal weekly shows. And our second team coach, we've got Adam Saad, Blues. We've got Lucky Neil. Um, that is the common Scanlon's anniversary card. Love those. And oh, got a buddy Star Powers Sharpshooters. It is the common silver, but absolutely awesome. Awesome. Love that card. And we have one pack of NRL this week because that is all I have at the moment. I really need to uh, get my stocks up of NRL cards. It's a bit harder living in Melbourne because I can't really just go down to the shops and pick up. And our packs like I can do with the footy stars and team coach. Unfortunately, I'd love to be able to do that. Uh, if you do know of any Melbourne shops that sell NRL traders, please let me know. That would be awesome. I've got Grant Anderson, Rising Stars for the Storm. Speaking of Melbourne, and we've got Jerome Luai, Panthers Silver. Um, and now we uh, kind of turn our attention to the mega, the mega footy stars opening. And, oh man, the, um, oh, the heater's come on. The heater has come on. We'll open up this pack and then we'll, uh, I'll go off and I will turn that heater off. We have Jai Simkin 
100 game milestones for the Ruse. We've got Jay Gresham um, in the color spot. And the heater is now off, thank you. Um, Jai, let's see where you have come. You've come from Marupna, um, which I think we've had that card before. Because I remember seeing Marupna, unless there's another player from Marupna. I'm sure there's probably more than one in the AFL. Um, I don't know. Let's have a look, second pack of hobby. And, oh, it's a carbon here. Nice, 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 nice. Love the carbons. Let's have a look at who we have. I think last time, I think we got the Bond and I um, was very bad at um, telling the colors of what we had. Wow, do we, is it the invisible man? Do we have anybody there? Oh, there we go. We've got some sort of, we've got, oh, is that, um, that's looking like a Melbourne player. And it's, um, oh man, um, it's the ball guy, Nathan. Oh, I can't remember his name. No, it's not Nathan. It's, it's Cozzy Pickett though. I, I couldn't pick it, but we do have Cozzy Pickett. D's, very, very nice. Oh, we've got, we've got, um, three inserts here. We've got Angela Foley, mascot. We've got Jeremy McGovern, um, color spot. And Cozzy Pickett, and that is card 145 of 195. And we'll pop you over there. Well, one more hobby pack. Very, very cool. Am I like, I, mm, yeah, okay. Don't mind me, don't mind me. We've got Mason Redmond Essential, love that. And more Cozzy, there you go. In the color spot, we are, uh, Oh, decked out for Cozzy. Nathan Jones is who I was trying to think of. My poor brain was trying to uh, think of that name. Anyway, we have the starter pack here. We will have an acetate. It's looking like a swan. It's Buddy. Nice, love that. Very cool. In the away Guernsey. Now we have three packs, of course, of the normal retail. So I'm getting one insert per pack but hopefully they make them worth it. We can uh, at least get some new inserts. We're getting a lot of repeat with uh, footy stars. It's Jay Gresham. Speaking of repeats, didn't we just get you just before Mr. Jade? We did, we did. Okay, I'm not going crazy. We did do, it's okay. So that, okay, that's, um, we literally just got you a few seconds ago. That's, um, that's not great. <laughs> That's not great. Okay. Let's so hope we get a little bit of better luck out of this pack. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Darcy Fogarty. We have a lot of Darcy Fogarty color spots. Um, okay. <laughs> come on. Come on. Okay. That's just the entree. We're getting a competition card from this. I, if I believe it, it will happen. Come on. Competition card. Oh no, it's an Emily Bates mascot lions, which I do know we have. So uh, yeah, that is our Cracks and Packs mega version, mega doubles version for this week. But there you go, that is another edition of Score Center done and dusted. Thank you very much for making it this far. You are a legend. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see you Saturday morning for Team Coach. Can't wait to see you Sunday for NRL Traders. Hopefully you have a fantastic week, uh, weekend. And uh, yeah, if you are having a long weekend, hopefully it is an awesome one. But I will see you next week. Hopefully uh, my phone is uh, back from the dead and uh, I can uh, not use my tripod and uh, make this look like it's a Lars von Trier film. But until then, stay cool, take care. My name is Dave. This is Scorecard Collectibles and I can't wait to see you next time.